Hello, this is Joe Pryor again with the Virtual Real Estate Team in Oklahoma, and we do exclusively investment real estate residentially uh, in both the Oklahoma City and Tulsa markets. And this is kind of a Monday update on what's going on. Uh, first of all, in terms of interest rates, uh, things flanged up a little bit. Last week, there was some uncertainty, obviously, in various ways, but uh, today they went back to where they were before. We still think that we may see some lower rates uh, coming up. We don't know how soon. It could be August, could be September, but not that far away. But the other thing that's interesting is inventory. Houses for sale. Now, for the last year, inventory has increased. Uh, not as much as it needs to in new construction, but certainly has in existing construction. And the thing that we're seeing at this moment, and this is historical, guys, this is not something happening with the Oklahoma economy or the U.S. economy or anything of that nature. It's just that school starts at the middle of August. And because of that reason that July 8th, when I'm doing this, uh, it is getting a little bit late to be able to close on a home because, you know, what you have is a situation where you need to show that you own that home before you enter that school. And if school starts, say, August 14th or something of that nature, you close on the 13th, it's gonna be extremely difficult for you. So what we're gonna see going forward, because this is what I call an artificial deadline, in other words, not an official deadline, uh, like the end of the year, uh, but it is an artificial deadline because the market changes once school is in. And this is a marvelous opportunity going forward for investors. Now, will the rental market be as good uh, in August and September as it is right now. Not really, but not that bad. Uh, it's not going to be that awful. It's not gonna be that dramatic of a change. Maybe $50 a month, you know, uh, may take a few more days to get a lease, but here's the point. It can be offset with deals. It can be offset with builder incentives. It can be price reductions on existing or new homes. So that is what I think we're going to be seeing. Now, I'm in meetings all next week, or excuse me, not next week, this week, it's Monday. Um, and I'm in meeting with builders and we're talking to single family builders. We're talking to duplex builders. I'm talking to an alternative builder that uses uh, uh, different materials and different things to create very uh, affordable homes, uh, like container homes, uh, and putting two, three, four containers together. So. We're interested in this because prices have gotten to be a greater amount. So we have these meetings coming up and they're gonna be very important meetings going forward because we have last year, for instance, we sold a tremendous amount of property in the Oklahoma City and Tulsa markets and had zero bust. In other words, everybody that we work with closes because we typically make sure that you're vetted out properly, you have the proper income, you are pre-approved with a lender and you know, it, it's a fantastic thing that we can offer builders. So that is what's going on. Rates are stable um, other than last week, but they got back to where they were before. We may see an eighth of a quarter point cut coming up pretty soon. Uh, and inventory is increasing and it is going to be a situation where we're going to really be hitting these builders, also going and looking at existing homes that we think can be tremendous buys that you cannot buy in April, May, and June that you can buy now going forward. So that's what's going on. Get a hold of us, uh, Joe at vreteam.com. It'll be at the bottom of the description of this email. Let us know if you want to be on the list for what's going on.